out of the Padre Island National Seashore. Now we're learning that the sea turtle recovery program may be in jeopardy. Our Michael Gibson has been on the story for us today and here's what he learned. We have been told that Dr. Donna Shaver is now under a gag order implemented by her boss, Eric Brunneman. He's the Padre Island National Seashore Park Superintendent. He is also the one who has supposedly embraced a review of Dr. Shaver's entire turtle recovery program, calling for a 30% cut in her department, among other things. So Dr. Shaver had to turn to a group who gives legal representation to federal employees. They then filed a legal complaint under the Federal Information Quality Act, demanding that the review be retracted, allegedly due to the many misleading findings, inaccuracies, and actions that violate law as well as National Park Service policy. The review would sharply curtail the program. It would uh, confine rescues of sea turtles to park boundaries. It would cut back on research and it would limit the re public releases of hatchlings to just one week of the year, which doesn't make any sense at all. It would cut back on beach patrols and all of these recommendations violate in some instances the Endangered Species Act. That was Jeff Ruck. He's the Pacific Director of a group called Public Employees for Environmental Responsibility, or PEER for short. The group has been around for some 25 years and defends federal whistleblowers like Dr. Donna Shaver. He says that he's not only fighting to have that review overturned, but he's also hoping to have the money returned to the sea turtle program, which the park director supposedly had redirected. The sea turtle science and recovery program is fully funded. It was fully funded until a couple weeks ago when the park superintendent took $300,000 out of it. So he could give that money back so to make sure that the money that Dr. Shaver raised is used on sea turtles, not on other things. News of this issue spread quickly through the local environmental ranks as folks have been shocked about learning of this dispute. This is probably the most significant uh, controversy that I've seen um, and something that I hope really uh, they can resolve uh, because there's a lot of folks um, that depend on that program and uh, along with the sea turtles which is the most important part. We did ask for a comment from National Seashore Superintendent Eric Brunneman but we received absolutely no response. The peer group says the National Park Service has 60 days to respond to the complaint. Michael Gibson, 3 News.